What's going on there guys? It's Ballistic Demon here today and I'm starting to feel a little bubbly from the soda I was just drinking. But anyway, I saw that you guys really liked my LEGO Jurassic Park video from a week or two ago and I figured you know what I'll talk about the other LEGO game that was announced and that was LEGO's Marvel The Avengers or just LEGO Marvel Avengers. Now if you remember two years ago Marvel Super Heroes came out uh, a LEGO game and it was in my opinion probably one of the best LEGO games there was. For me whenever it comes down to the best LEGO games I look at the very original LEGO Star Wars Episodes 1, 2, 3, because that's where it all started, and that game was awesome. I remember sitting there one summer, and I was, like, playing the crap out of that. I was getting all the extra mini kits, all the bricks I could, everything. I was just doing it. I was putting in cheat codes, chilling, relaxing. Then at number 2 in my personal list, I put LEGO Batman 3, the newest LEGO game. The reason being is because I feel like they really nailed the direction that they should be going with putting in some DLC, DLC that was worth buying, good DLC, solid DLC. And to back up that DLC, they had probably, in my opinion, the best plot of the LEGO games. Because I feel like Telltale, or TT Travel, I always want to tell them Telltale, no, TT Games does a really good job at telling fun stories. Especially now that they got the voice actors in. And Marvel Superheroes and LEGO Batman 3 both have great stories, and I just thought Batman 3 was better. Then number 3 out of all the LEGO games was probably Marvel Superheroes, because that story is really good. You get it. Good story, solid gameplay, a lot of fun. You get to collect all those Marvel characters. But anyway, the new LEGO Marvel Avengers game is going to be following the path of Avengers 1 and then Avengers The Age of Ultron films. So it's going to be exactly the same pretty much. Now this worries me because I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, there was some good movies, but you guys do such a good job at making your own plots. Why we got us? You, you just cut half of the roster in half, and you just ruined it. Now I really, really hope that j even though it's a video game, they still get you know Wolverine, Deadpool, the Fantastic Four, and all the mutants in it like they had in the other game. And it's just not playing out Avengers. At least we'll know that we're gonna get Spider Man. Yay! <laughs> but I really like the way the other one was, where there was this giant. It was like a playground where they could build whatever they want. And now they're kind of looking at the instructions. And if the Lego movie taught us everything, anything, you better be a communist. I'm joking. You better be yourself and just go out there and be creative. And that's what these games are. They're very creative. And I'm nervous that this one's just going to follow that cemented path of the movies. And maybe even cut down those characters. I have high hopes for Lego Jurassic Park because it's just so out there. And this one I'm looking at, I'm like nervous about it. You know, I'm, I'm a little scared. A little scared. I'm a Lego fan, guys. I really am. Love all the Lego video games. Pretty sure you probably do too if you're watching this video at all. So let me know down below. Are you excited for the Lego Avengers? Are you nervous like I am? You on the fence? You're like, I'm not sure if this is gonna be good or not. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Peace.